What is going on everyone? Today we are running through all the key themes and new information we received in the February live stream. So sit back and enjoy. Starting off, we've got a few reminders. The big one being the next alpha test is March 19th, and this one has no NDA, which means lots and lots of new gameplay. Intrepid also has 35 new positions posted, so if you have experience in game design and want a new job, well, go apply. July 1st is the potential date for moving back into the studio, although who knows as this world is constantly changing and the rules on how to respond to COVID are ever evolving. In bigger news, you may have noticed the Ashes of Creation website has also changed. This is just the first phase as later down the line you can expect things like more game details on classes, races, and lore, guild support with things such as the ability to recruit and schedule events, and a lot more that will be detailed in a website roadmap article that we should be expecting to pop up soon. We learned that in the February testing they hit some snags with the alpha, which is a good thing because the alpha is meant to work on all these snags, but unfortunately due to these, alpha 1 testing will not be opening back up for purchase at this time, but this could potentially change down the road. Maybe. Next, we got about 35 minutes of new gameplay showing us Steven and some devs adventuring into the new tropical regions doing all sorts of things. They showcased changes to underwater, which was pretty blurry and hard to see when swimming originally, but you can now see it has drastically changed and it's a lot more visible underwater and looks a lot more crisp. They have also changed the fireball spell based on player feedback. There is no longer a build up to it and it is more along the lines of an instant cast. You also get to see some action combat as a mage as Steven aims a lot of his spells to cast instead of using the tab targeting system. Keep in mind that this combat is probably going to change a lot as we go forward. Steven then wanders into a small questing area in this region where he talks to some NPCs to gain info on a man named Sir Jensen, who was pretty hard to get to know originally, but Steven gets a scoop on this man and he is able to complete the quest and earn an item that has some pretty cool cosmetic effects to it. Steven talks a bit about the questing UI as well, which isn't really new info but a lot of people don't know it but ashes won't have your typical question marks and exclamation points over npcs for quests but a more subtle approach like the color of the nameplate as currently green names mean quests and gold names mean merchants anyways after this quest steven goes and inspects some plants and creates a new book which turns into finding pages scattered throughout the area that he decides not to complete but this shows us just in the short amount of time a bit of variety to the questing that's already helping it from being repetitive. After this, Steven and the devs go for a little 2v2 dueling match, where unfortunately we learn Steven is terrible at PvP. Yo, oh, he got, got me! Is there not enough, man? Oh, yeah, no. the, the double... No! which is understandable as he spends a lot of time building the game and not a lot of time playing it currently. If you want to check out the full video of this, well, the link in the description below. Jumping back into the live stream, we'll learn that there are currently three bosses being worked on for Alpha 1, two of them being bosses for two different party sizes, while one of them being a true raid boss with multiple phases to the fight. We then get to see some images of a bunch of environments within this tropical region such as jungles and ocean and ancient ruins and some architecture and rocks that will be in the area. The rocks being part of an underwater area with a shipwreck. Onto the character team we see a work in progress of the Timeless Terrapin Mount, a creature known as the Kirin which will be a creature in the world along with a mount that can be obtained in game. And the Howling Ridge Ox Mount was also shown which is a December cosmetic that is in the very early works and has no textures yet. We also learned that Ashes of Creation is going to have a more populated ocean and make it feel a bit more alive with fish swimming around but a lot of them won't be targeted, they will just be some decorative fish swimming in the background, but making it feel a lot more full. There will also be some NPC creatures as well to fight like this Stainray. We then see some more shots of the Protector's Armor which Steven leaked on Discord last month, and some concept art of what is called the Solari Camp. I hope you guys enjoyed this quick live stream recap. Let me know what your favorite part was in the comments down below. And if you have yet to make an Ashes of Creation account, feel free to use my referral link in the description below. Otherwise, be sure to click that subscribe button, hit that thumbs up, turn on the bell for notifications, and stay tuned for a lot more to come.